This video will take you through the steps required to set up a Microsoft Bing Maps locator application which can host and serve up your premise data so things like store locations, ATMs for banks, or any kind of geolocation data on a map in minutes. Um, and we're going to do this using the Bing Maps locator wizard which can be found at bingmapslocators.cloudapp.net. So the first thing we, we should do is to log on to the platform. So you can log on either via using Windows Live ID or using OpenID um, and any of the providers who support OpenID. It's probably a good idea to log on using your Windows Live ID as you will require a Bing Maps key which you can only acquire through having a, a, a Windows Live ID in the first place. So I'm just going to log on using one of my um, e email accounts and when we come into the portal it asks you to set up a username and provide your email address that you that we can co uh, correspond with you on and now we're presented with um, a number of different options for what we would like to use the platform for so you can see at the top here in the top left there's a developer and basic account these two are the, the accounts where when you, you can actually go through the wizard and have uh, a locator set up immediately for you. The other options are all kind of around you know mobility applications, um, any kind of custom applications that you would like to have developed, and our general consulting and mapping practices are also outlined briefly here. So um, in knowledge services, uh, in knowledge auxiliary services are also outlined on this page. I'm going to set up a basic locator in this instance. The, the developer locator is kind of targeted at um, users who want to d download their locator when they are completed, when they've completed setting up the locator. So you can customize the locator, add your own imagery, change colors, add your data, and, uh, and finish the, the locator setting it up, um, and then download the actual source code so that you can host it on your own premise, so, and you can take care of all the support and maintenance, do, make whatever changes you like to the code base and host it wherever you like. I'm going to set up a basic locator which is a, a hosted version that InKnowledge will actually host on your behalf. It's completely free. It's it's all hosted within uh, Microsoft Windows Azure shared instance um, and this is the basic package that's completely free to the end user. There is no uh, support or maintenance with this just just using FAQ support um, and if you need um, any kind of ser service level agreements or if you need maintenance or support contracts then feel free to get in touch with us um, under one of the premium accounts or, or just one of the contact uh, links on the page. So let's get started with a, a basic locator wizard. Now the first step in the locator wizard is just to create a title so I'm just going to call this locator for simplicity's sake. Um, this locator title will be related to what you see in your dashboard when you actually log in to see uh, previous you know, locators that you set up, you want to augment or modify any of them, you can come back in at any time and access those through your dashboard. I'll just click here really quickly. I don't have anything set up yet because I haven't gone far enough into the process. Um, so we'll just set up the locator again. And then we'll select the United Kingdom since I live in the United Kingdom as our target countries. The target country um, is not really terribly important if you want to set up a locator for India, China, or any Eastern European countries, then we suggest you get in touch with us as we can pr bring an enhanced experience to your locator over what would be available in those countries. So the, f the next step we need to do is, is to enter a Bing Maps key. Um, there will be a video available on this, this page um, in the wizard in order to give you a Bing Maps key. Now we're going to set our map dimensions, so I'm, I'm happy with the basic height and width of 700 pixels by 400 pixels. Width, um, the search parameters, I want to search with it within the 20 kilometer radius, and I want you know 25 search results as standard to be shown on, on the map at any given time. So just fill in some company details. So once you filled out your company contact details, just continue on to the next page. The next step in the wizard process is the uh, features and locator preview. On this page we're going to uh, choose any optional features that we would like to get more information about and hear about how we can add them into our locator. Um, and we're also going to customize things like the imagery and the colors of the basic locator. And it's the first time that we get a really good feel for how the, the locator in general works and, and how we can play with it. 
So we can see a bunch of different features that we may like to incorporate into our locator. And if we tick the boxes, then in knowledge will get back to us um, and, and get more information to us about those features. And at the bottom, we actually see a sample locator that has some sample data in it and shows you the basic basis, basics about how it all works and how it all looks and feels and comes together. And we can actually customize things about this locator. So for instance, I want to add a co company logo. So I'll just add the in knowledge logo here and also want to add a custom push pin to my locator so you can see what it looks like now I'm gonna press upload here page reloads and we have custom push pin imagery here with the blue push pin and we have the in knowledge logo and I want to add some coloration to this to make it look a little bit nicer or more like my my company's basic color scheme so I'm just gonna choose from uh, some back color, background color options. I'm going to change the chrome color a little bit to match maybe the the color of my push pin roughly, um, so that you know the the results numbers here actually match up with the color of the push pin. It actually is a little bit more interesting and, and kind of pops off the page. You can customize whatever you like, and when you're finished, just click next. Now we're taken to the data hosting page. In general, the the locator wizard template. Uh, uses Bing Spatial Data Services to consume your data. So that means that you need to access the Bing Spatial Data Service, there's a link right here on the page, and upload your data to the Bing Spatial Data Services, and then configure here below where you see that where you need to enter information about the data source information and the displayed info box properties. You need to configure these to work with the schema of the data that you've uploaded to Bing Spatial Data Service. Now, we're going to create a video about how you can actually upload this data to the Bing Spatial Data Services, and we're actually working on an application that will really ease the deployment and upload process. But for now, just for the purposes of this overview video, I'm just going to accept the default configurations, and I'm going to use the sample uh, data source, which Microsoft has already uploaded to the Bing Spatial Data Service. So it's all we're going to do in this case, just to, to continue on, is to press Next. Now that we've arrived at the review page, we've basically gone through the entire process of setting up and customizing our locator application. So we've uploaded our data, we've told the locator wizard template how we actually want it to consume and what, what data we want it to consume from the Bing Spatial Data Services. We've uploaded our custom imagery and we've, we've selected custom colors for our application. We've given it titles, so on and so forth. And now what we see on the page is a, a preview of our locator as it stands. Um, and the ability to actually download the source. We can actually pull it in via an iframe. Package is a hosted application for free again in Windows Azure shared instance, which means that we can just pull it in via an iframe. We can access the application using the wizard Chrome, so the things like the, the header and footer and so on via this URL, or we can access it free of the Chrome by just hitting this URL at any time. Um, and once again, we just have a preview, uh, another review slash preview of the, the locator at the bottom of here and we can play with it and see how it's going to look and feel and work um, in general now that it's been saved and, and deployed. And of course at any time we can log back into the portal, we can go to our dashboard and we can update this locator and, or delete it or, or modify it in any way we like. Here's the locator URL just on its own. And there you have it.